Universe itself. We are happy to uh, be back live on the air and we would like to welcome all our guests uh, that tune in each week and uh, say uh, welcome. And uh, we're going to be talking about some interesting subjects today I integrated into the social media and uh, uh, web advertising and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the results of uh, uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday and how that uh, ties into uh, our uh, social media and our web advertising aspects and how to kind of get the, the best out of your e-commerce uh, each year. Um, but um, we, before we get into all of that, we would like to make sure we give a shout out to Crescendo, who is a uh, $50 million um, and growing company. They're out there, uh, uh, from what I hear, making record sales. And uh, so um, if you are making record sales, that means that you have a great product. Um, so I recommend uh, uh, Crescendo uh, calling in to the show at 480-296-1776. Uh, and we can actually get you connected if you have any VoIP cloud phone service needs, or also if you have any web design, or if you have any search engine optimization needs, we'll get you connected to Crescendo. Uh, also, any social media needs, we can uh, we uh, practitioners that take care of that as well. So I uh, wanted to uh, thank Crescendo for being a great sponsor of ours. Uh, also, don't forget to go by uh, in central Glendale, downtown Glendale, like Glendale uh, Flowers for all of your floral needs. And also a little bit north on, uh, go to Planet Beach and get yourself a continuing membership where for anywhere from seventy to one hundred twenty dollars a month, you get unlimited visits to the spa. Imagine that! Not only unlimited visits, but you could spend eight hours there if you really felt like it. <laughs> it's a great experience. Go by to Planet Beach. Um, and uh, today we are joined by Santana, who has had some. Uh, first of all, what a great name! Just a great name. And, and no, he doesn't. Uh, he's not going to be playing any guitars today. However, it's a it's a very cool name, and uh, we appreciate uh, you joining us on the show. And uh, he has some, some history behind him about uh, uh, some first-hand experience in the weight loss department. Uh, if any of you are wondering what he looks like, make sure you tune in in about a week and he'll be on uh, YouTube. Uh, I, and, you know, if I must say so myself, though I'm very married, he is a handsome guy. <laughs> <laughs> Killing me here. All right. So, uh, so Tata, tell us a little bit about your background and uh, kind of what brought you into fit fitness and, and a little bit about you. Sure thing. Well, uh, thanks for having me on. Um, um, I do appreciate it. Um, well, my background is I've been personal training off and on for about 10 to 15 years. Um, I was an athlete in high school and I uh, just kind of stuck with that lifestyle, um, the duration all the way through my retail up until uh, my real estate and all the way till today. And uh, in fact, I just went to my, well, 25th anniversary. You too, high school really? Reunion. Me as well. We're exactly the yeah. same age. Look at us. <laughs> I just I let that slip. I, I usually don't talk about that. You meant his uh, uh, two to five year uh, a, a reunion. Right, exactly. <laughs> right. Just a high school reunion, we'll call yeah. it. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's it's great to go, for, you know, because everybody says, well, you haven't changed at all. And I'm like, well, <laughs> that's for the good, I hope. So, so but, but yeah, no. Um, uh, it, it's a health, it's a lifestyle for me, and it's it's great. Uh, I've had a lot of different experiences in personal training, one-on-one uh, -on -one clients. Uh, I actually competed in a natural bodybuilding contest ten years ago, wow. and up in, in Greeley, Colorado, and that was such a profound experience for me that um, I got real serious about it and made it my one and only business. And a friend of mine, uh, him and I, we, we competed at the same time. Well, he actually entered as the trainer, I entered as the competitor, and. It was a very uh, a life-changing experience. It took my personal training to the next level. Uh, it was 16 to 18 weeks of, of discipline and uh, doing things so precisely, um, but the results were fantastic. So what I started doing was training athletes at that point, because prior to that, I was taking on just one-on-one -on -one clients, people that wanted to lose weight and get in shape. Well, then I took on athletes, um, even to the point when I got to Arizona, um, I had built a little bit of a real estate portfolio that I was able to start going back to that again. The only slight problem I had with it over the years was people weren't quite getting the results that I wanted them to have. Mm -hmm. You know, my expectations were high and of course theirs were too. And one of the things that was always the downfall was the diet. Mm -hmm. um, it was never a problem getting them to the gym. Um, the one-on-one -on -one training worked out well every time. You know, most of the time they showed up and most of the time they put forth the effort. Sure. The problem is the rest of the time when I'm not around. That was the battle that I had to fight, and so um, that 
encapsulated with you can only train so many people per week in one given day. So uh, I kind of had to back out of it again because, I, again, I wasn't getting the results. And I, I won't do something if I, if I can't get 100% what I like in it. So mm -hmm. I backed off on it a little bit and, and kind of went back to the real estate world. And, and um, with the advent of social media mm -hmm. and a company, a friend of mine had been um, chasing me for about the last four or five years um, trying to get me back into the personal training realm, into the vitamin and health world. And, and it's always been my lifestyle. I, I lived that way. That's just how I did it. Uh, but I just couldn't quite tap that uh, that lucrative entrepreneurship into it. Um, I, I, as, as many times as I tried, it just wasn't quite what I wanted it to be. Sure. Now, you're talking about the advent of the social media world. What pulled you back in? Uh, what was it about the social media that, uh, that kind of caught well, your eye? Well, what I found uh, being the entrepreneur I was in real estate uh, and in other businesses is your audience, uh, it's easier to touch base with your audience. You can put a face on your writing. You can put everything in one place. Let's call it a cloud because most of my face-to-face -face with clients was great. I have great face-to-face -face, um, relationships. I've, I've, I'm, a, I'm a, a guy, uh, what can I say? I'm a people person. Sure. Always have been. Um, the retail world brought me into the real estate world, which brought me to what I'm doing now, and it's always face-to-face. -face. I just get, I, I'm better at it. I, I build that rapport with my clients much better live, at least with the face-to-face. -face. So the social media put me out there, first of all, LinkedIn put my resume out there so everybody didn't have to ask me what I did or what my past experience is. Mm -hmm. Facebook would allow them to see who I am on a regular basis and then put a face on me. And of course, with the advent of all the photographs and, and, and the uh, photo bucket and, and what do we have now, Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, you know, words, words uh, say a thousand, uh, pictures say a thousand words. Sure. So it's easy to post what I do and they can see the results. That's always more compelling to see what you're, what you're talking about. So uh, the, the ability to put it all in one place. Uh, websites were nice, but let's face it, when websites first came out, you had to drive traffic to your website. The beauty of social media is pretty much everybody's there and everybody wants to be there. So it's like a, well, it's a social media billboard. And so it, I just found myself coming back um, more and more into it, so. And if I could uh, kind sure. of differentiate, um, because websites take, um, in many cases, most cases, HTML, HTML programming, if they're more contrived, you know, right. There's nothing wrong with having it be contrived. It's again, it's your the branding, and so you put a lot of thought into what you put on your website. Um, but it makes it less believable, especially in your industry. So yes. if you have a Facebook fan page where fans are just posting, "Hey, this is what I looked like three months ago. This is what I look like right now." It, it's a, there's a, an absolute flow, and you don't feel like. Oh, they just got a really skinny girl who looked like, or she could be the fat girl, and they just took two different oh, pictures <laughs> and posted it up there. Um, that the, this is uh, very interactive. That, that uh, and and because it's interactive, somebody would actually post and uh, you know Absolutely. and say, "Hey, I know that girl. She's about that same girl." Correct. So it's much more believable. So it's, it's, if you have an industry that is similar to. Uh, Santana's from the standpoint of uh, personal training or fitness modeling or being a model yourself or doing before and after pictures, uh, your dentistry, um, uh, it, just anything where you're getting results of a before and after, they're much more believable Absolutely. and they're more organic and thrown out there on Facebook, they're, they're more believable. And I'm not saying that, that things couldn't be contrived on Facebook, but when they're done in mass, it's kind of, it's the difference between what looks contrived and what doesn't look contrived normally, what is not, doesn't look contrived or wasn't contrived. Correct. And I mean, it takes, I mean, you got to be pretty good with Photoshop and photos mm -hmm. and usually the whole picture is perfectly clear. Mm -hmm. So when you're seeing these before and after pictures, of the results that we're getting with uh, with Body by Buy right now, it's it's totally believable because you could tell it wasn't a professional that took the picture. You know, you could tell it was us or the client that took their uh, original pictures, and then you just you know you do the side by side, and it's just compelling and and it's great. So the so the beauty of it is this: now that I'm back to it, I've got great results. I'm I love what I'm doing, um, and and now people that are close to me that know I've always done this. Are now they're really coming out and say, you know what? I think it's time. I think I, I want to do this. I've seen how you're uh, affecting other people's lives with with the, the weight they're dropping, the medications they're getting off of, the the smile on their faces, completely different. If you look at the before and after pictures, 
you can see the picture that they kind of just go, mm, I don't like taking this picture, but I'll take it. <laughs> and then, you know, 90 days later, it's a, it's a huge, it's yeah. Kind of a glow. So it, if you, yeah. if, if, make sure you stay tuned. It's time to go to break. But, uh, but if you yourself want to know how to get that glow, make sure you don't go away. Uh, uh, stay with us with Santana. We're going to give you some contact information when we come back of how you can uh, find Santana's uh, a group on Facebook. Uh, and uh, so don't go away. We'll be right back after the break. This is Kurt Wilhelm, the host of the Social Universe on Voice America.